Hi, this is the last new comic book day of February 2024. This is February 28th on a leap year. And uh, these are the comics I picked up at the comic book store um, this new comic book day. So I got uh, Duke number three from Skybound Image Comics. Uh, Duke teams up with Baroness, it looks like. That's what it looked like at the in at the end of the last issue. Here's Fire and Ice Tigra. This is um, Dynamite, uh, based on the Fire and Ice movie from the 1980s. Saturday Morning Adventures, Dungeons and Dragons number two. I know I said that I would not continue with this series, but I am. Uh, I'm a sucker for Saturday morning stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll read it. Uh, damn it. Um, Red Sonia. Uh, number eight from Dynamite Comics with, uh, with a dangling ogre head man thing. And Conan the Barbarian, number eight from Titan Comics. And last but not least, the biggest comic this week, at least for me, boom, Savage Sword of Conan, number one from Titan Comics. Um, continuing the tradition of the Savage Sword of Conan magazine from Marvel Comics from the 70s to the 80s. Um, this is a brand new issue one for a brand new series in the tradition. So it's, uh, it's a black and white magazine in magazine uh, format. I'm going to, I order these two, by the way, <laughs> these, um, these omnibuses. Uh, and... There are some write-ups and articles and also uh, comics and pretty cool stuff. Uh, here's, um, I think it's Roy Thomas uh, talks about about um, Conan and everything. Some neat art. Here's a map. All this cool stuff. Um, different, uh, different stories and stuff. Here's a big monster Conan has to fight. No, there's Solomon Kane on the back. Here's a... Um, the back cover, previewing the next issue, Solomon Cain. Yeah, so it's different stories, um, some serialized stuff, some articles, etc. This is the kind of thing I like. I love these black and white magazines. Um, I'll leave through some of this. It looks awesome. I have some criticisms, but um, I'm going to uh, post a review of this. I'll probably compare it to the original number one and some... Um, other examples of modern uh, black and white comic magazines that are doing it in a different way that I that I prefer. <laughs> but um, but I'm glad this came out. I don't know why other publishers hadn't done this in the past. I remember there was the Robert E. Howard uh, Savage Sword or whatever. I was like, yeah, it's a comic. It's cool. But I want this. I want this, you know, nice big thick story magazine with like different stories and articles and things about Conan and any other characters that Robert E. Howard um, did. So uh, I'm glad this came out. I, I'm glad I have it and I'll post a review soon. Until uh, next time, take care.